Hey guys, it's Nibscape, and this is my alt account, Nibscape2. Usually you can find him up in the Slayer Tower, killing a couple gargles, or perhaps down killing a couple brutal black dragons with his T-bow. However, unfortunately, I haven't played this account in a while. In fact, 125 days, and during this time, my membership has run out. And unfortunately, due to the fact that I don't really play this account that much, I can't really justify paying for membership. And I'm a bit of a tight ass and I don't really want to spend the money off of my main. So, that kind of leaves me with one option. I'm back to free to play. And this is a place I haven't really been since. Since I was about 12 and I persuaded my mum to buy me membership. So welcome to my new series. A series in which each episode we're going to look at a different free to play money making method. In order to buy our first bond. We'll look at how efficient it is and how long it will take. Welcome to my new series, Escaping Free to Play. Hey guys, it is Nibscape here, and I'm back on my alt account, Nibscape2. And in the last episode, we uh, we were working towards getting some starter cash together. We actually ended the episode, we've now got our staff of air, which is going to be pretty decent for some uh, future money making methods. And we've got 57k, so not too bad. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be looking at doing a, like a one-off money maker. We're going to look at quite in-depth sort of guide of how we do it, and then we're going to work out at the end how much money we've made, how long it would take you to get a bond if you were to purely do this. Maybe go over like a sort of rating system, like how AFK or something. I'm not too sure just how it's going to work yet, but um, yeah, today we are going to be doing. Uh, filling jugs with water, so uh, I think it's going to be pretty decent money to be honest and uh, and Yeah, I'll go over the requirements now So in the actual terms of requirements you don't actually need any skills There's no skill requirements You could literally be a level 3 account and start doing this straight away. Obviously you have G restrictions with that However, yeah, it's actually incredible just how much money you could possibly make with such low requirements. The only thing I would recommend, so for recommended, I'd recommend a nice cash stack. Obviously, it costs us about 16k to buy these supplies in the first place. And obviously, if you're going to want to be using stamina potions or energy potions, I mean, you're obviously going to have to bear that in mind. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty decent money maker with literally no requirements. So you can buy a single jug for around four coins. I'm not exactly sure the buy price just yet. But if you have a little look at a jug of water, that sells for around 52 GP. So there's some pretty serious margins within this. And we should be able to make a pretty decent amount of cash. Um, we're going to quickly buy some uh, jugs, empty jugs first. So uh, we'll get a little... Uh, I think I need roughly about 4k. And that should see me nicely for an hour. As you can see uh, in the top right corner... We're going to be doing this for an hour. I think about 4,000 jugs is more than enough. We'll see if we can buy it for the four coins. Yeah, we insta brought it for the four coins. So that is awesome stuff. So we will actually be filling the jugs in Falador. I do believe the East Bank over here is the closest to the water pump. So there's a water source here. And I do believe that's going to be the closest distance and the most efficient to fill up as many jugs as possible. There's a water pump here, right next to the bank. As you can see, there is actually some players doing this already. And, uh, yeah, I think this should be pretty decent, to be honest. This is super close to the pump. And I reckon it should be, uh, it's going to be pretty AFK, I reckon. So we're going to go from here. It should be pretty, pretty easy, pretty AFK. So we're going to do a solid hour of it. And then, uh, at the end, we'll go over exactly how much money we made. So, uh, Let's uh, start the timer now. As you can see, the timer is going, and we're going to go for it. Let's uh, make sure my run's on for a start. And let's see how decent this is. So there we go. Oh, the jugs feel pretty fast, to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm going to have stamina issues, but we're, uh, we should see that in a bit. I mean, my stamina is going up pretty decently, so I think we should be all right. It's not very long to run either. It does feel pretty fast. I reckon this is going to be a pretty decent money maker. I've, I've got, I reckon it's going to be really good, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see where we are. I might check in again at like the half hour mark, and uh, yeah, so far, so chill. Okay, so one thing I've, I'm starting to notice now is I think stamina is going to become a little bit of an issue. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to stop the timer now, 
and then we're uh, we're gonna go to the Grand Exchange, and I think I'm gonna invest in some stam. Well, obviously not stamina potions because we're free to play, but uh, we're gonna get some energy potions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy 21 of these. Um, we're gonna collect them as items, so I can drink. We're gonna keep an eye on it. So we're gonna drink one for now fully just to restore our energy so we have now 20 which we put into our inventory slot uh we will also deposit all my money so i think we're looking pretty decent now okay so we're obviously teleported back to falador now we'll get set up again uh, i think i was about 30 run energy so we're gonna run around a little bit get back down to what i was at okay so i'm roughly down to where i was at uh we're gonna get out a jugs of well fuck's sake i fucked up again uh, we're going to restart the timer again, and we'll do another inventory. So yeah, ev every now and again, I'm guessing I'm going to have to probably neck a full, a full one of these. So we will just take one out, take all the jugs, and then along the way, to try and be most efficient, we will drink the potion. But yeah, I guess I'll check back at probably the half hour mark, and just kind of go over my feelings so far. So I'll uh, see you then. Okay, so we are coming up to the uh, 30 minutes mark now, and uh, so far... 30 minutes in, it's been pretty chill. I mean, I'm running two accounts at the same time, so uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely pretty good. And I'm saying I'm I'm running two accounts, and I'm probably getting literally the maximum efficiency out of this. Um, so it's it's going well. It's going well. You could definitely, I reckon, you could probably do two, maybe even three of these accounts at the same time if you really want to. I mean, there's no requirements, so you could literally make a level three account, start buying jugs of water, like jugs making the jugs of water and you could end up making quite a bit of money across three accounts i reckon i don't know exactly what the profit margins are going to be just yet but i reckon it's going to be pretty decent so um yes yeah, it's, it's looking it's looking good and uh, as i said it is super afk i mean the only thing you got to keep a little eye on is the uh, run energy which i'm actually running out of now so i'm probably gonna have to use a few uh a few stamina potions and my misclicking was a little bit horrendous then but yeah i mean i'm running pretty decent at the moment I'm I'm running very efficient, running two accounts. I'm doing a bit of wood cutting on my on my main as well, but yeah, it's been it's been good. But um, I'll probably see you at the uh, at the final one hour mark where we'll uh, price it all up and do all that stuff, work out our costs. Obviously, we've got a few costs now because we are using some uh, energy potions as well. But overall, fuck, I actually need to withdraw an energy potion. Yeah, so far so good, and I'll see you at the one hour mark. Okay, so we have. 40-ish seconds left and it's been chill it's been pretty decent obviously we've been using energy potions um we haven't stopped running it's been all right it's been pretty afk um i've been running two accounts at once you could easily run multiple of these accounts just doing uh filling jugs it's not too bad i reckon we'll probably get one more full inventory and yeah then we'll test out see how much uh, money we've made and work out uh obviously the costs and all that stuff but we've got 11 seconds left i reckon that's literally probably just enough to uh to finish this inventory maybe maybe not quite we're gonna go one more second there we go right there we go that's our full one hour done let's uh chuck this all in the bank and see how much we uh how much we ended up with so we actually ended up with uh 3306 jugs of water which um which is actually probably quite a bit of money. Let's chuck that in. So we actually... Whoa, fucking hell. 52 GP. I don't think they're selling for 52 GP, though. I think the price is crashing ever so slightly on them. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll chuck them in for the GE and see if we get that much. But I think the price is a little bit lower than that. Okay, so we're in the GE. Let's see how much we can sell these jugs of water for. Um, I might as well put them in for the 52. I don't think they're going to sell. Uh, no, nah, they're, they're not going to sell. Um, I've done a little look on G Tracker, and it looks like they're selling for about 45 GP each. So it's actually not as good a margin as I was expecting. But if we chuck it in for 45 GP, and uh, we'll leave it in for a little while and see see what happens. Okay, so we ended up selling it for 42 GP each. So uh, it's quite a nice little cash stack there. But obviously, we're going to have to uh, work out our costs as well. So we actually spent 16k on the original jugs. So if we do a uh, price checker, chuck all of this in, chuck all of the cash in, and then what we'll do is we'll withdraw the 16K. So that's the original costs. 
Um, we've worked out, so obviously, the 16 energy potions we used, which came to a total cost of 9,440. So if we withdraw that from the cash, so 9,440. So there we go. So the total profit for one hour of filling jugs was 116k, which is actually... It's actually really good, considering there's no requirements whatsoever other than a little bit of a cash stack. So, so in literally about, we started off with about 25, 26k in costs, and we ended up with 116k profit. I mean, that is pretty decent. So, uh, we can't really complain of that. So, I'm gonna have a little bit of a review over the whole process now. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you there for that. So, for the review, first things first, we're gonna go over the profit per hour. So, the profit per hour was. 116k which honestly considering there's no requirements behind this it's free to play that is pretty decent for a money maker uh we'll go over the afk rating and i'm gonna have to give this an 8 out of 10 it is it's pretty afk and it was pretty good i was able to run two accounts at the same time the only thing that lets it slightly down is the waters fill up quite fast obviously you have to keep an eye on the stamina and use energy potions Apart from that though, it is extremely decent. When it comes to bonds, at the moment, as of filming this, the bond price is about 4.8 mil. So if you were to do this method, it would take 41.6 hours to earn a, yourself a bond, which is pretty high. However, the money maker is pretty decent. There's no requirements. There's no reason why you couldn't have two, three, maybe even four of these accounts going at once. So if you look at that, you could end up earning around about 400k an hour, which is pretty decent and uh, up there with some of the pay to play money makers, which is absolutely incredible. So overall, this is a very decent money maker, especially for free, free to play, considering you need no requirements whatsoever other than a little bit of starter cash. So yeah, highly recommend this. So we are now ending episode two with a nice tasty cash stack of 168k. So yeah, not too bad. Um, obviously, we can do some different money makers next episode. So uh, I look forward to doing that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the video. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.